Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 101 with the XAR Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use the equally spaced attribute in our object alignment properties. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to create an equal amount of space between all your objects. It doesn't matter what shape they are, it doesn't matter what size they are, the program is going to automatically create an equal amount of space between those objects. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that you want to do is go to the upper left hand corner of your screen to the toolbar and we're going to actually use all three of these quick shapes. First let's select the star and draw a star in our workspace and I made that a little bit too big so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and then let's go ahead and go back to our toolbar select the ellipse tool and create a circle in our workspace and then let's go ahead and go back again select the rectangle and create a rectangle in our workspace. So once you get three objects in your workspace, let's go ahead and give them a little bit of a different color. And you already know how to change colors, so I'm not going to even worry about telling you how to do that. So once you have three different colors for your shapes, let's go ahead and select them all by hitting Control A. And then let's go ahead and go to our range properties and select alignment. And that's going to bring up the object alignment dialog. And with that dialog opened, make sure that within the within section, you have selection bounds selected. And then make sure that both for your horizontal positions and for your vertical positions, that is set to no change. That way we're starting from scratch. And once you've checked that, let's go ahead and go to our horizontal positions. And I accidentally selected an option that I didn't mean to, so I got to set that back to no change. So now that it's set correctly again, under horizontal positions, go ahead and left click on that. And you're going to choose the last option that says distribute EQUI hyphen space. And what that EQUI stands for is equally. And it's basically saying that it's going to distribute equally the space between your objects. So go ahead and left click that and then hit apply. And you'll see that there's a small amount of movement in our workspace. And part of that is because these objects were pretty close to equally distribute space between each other. So if, if I were to space this out a little bit more like that and maybe move that object over there, then hit control A and hit apply again, you'll see that now there's a big change in terms of the distance between the objects. And if I were to draw a line on the screen from the star to the circle and then from the circle to the rectangle, you'll see that there's an equal amount of space between those objects. And so that's basically what's going to happen. And let's say that I, for example, made this circle smaller and I made this uh, star smaller, but I kept the, the square over here the same size. And I hit control A again and I hit apply because I didn't change the properties. I left everything the same. You'll see that it still creates the equal amount of space between the objects. And if you were to draw a line from the star to the circle, and then from the circle to the rectangle, there's still an equal amount of space between those objects. So the point of the distribute EQUI hyphen space is to equally distribute space between objects in your workspace. So hopefully you understand how this works. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or send me an email, whatever the case, let me know. If this tutorial was helpful, Leave a thumbs up, comment, embed, share, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.